today is Monday the 8th of November and I've got a box. Can you guess what's in here? This is actually only my second ever order from Toft. Um, it must have been about a year ago uh, that I made my first order and it was for some yarn to make um, a hat. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it because funnily enough I was wearing it just the other day. It was a knitted hat which is unusual for me and it was my first proper attempt at colour work as well. Um, and I loved using it so much. I mean I've used it on Amigurumi before. One of the kits at the Crochet Sanctuary weekend, the previous weekend, was a an Amigurumi uh, so I had used the Toft yarn, so I know how lovely it is. Um, and I'm really glad that I treated myself to uh, the yarn last year to make this hat because it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I've been pattern testing for Zines and Roger. I think I mentioned that. Um, and I'd almost got to the end and I ran out. So... I finished off the pattern test using some different yarn. It was still toff, but it was brown uh, and it really didn't go with what um, the other colours I'd been using. You'll see in a minute uh, when you see um, the colour that I've ordered today. And so my plan, what I plan to do is frog back uh, the brown and finish the hat off with um, with the correct colour yarn. So Toft, you can choose not to have your, your projects delivered in a canvas bag. Um, I don't think there's any price difference whether you choose to have one or not. So it's always handy to have a, another bag and to be honest, to store these in because I am running out of space. I think my mission for 2022 has to be to finish off all the whips that I've got. One, because they're taking up space. Two, I've got loads of my missing hooks in those project bags. Three, I've got loads of project bags with projects in <laughs> and it would be quite good to free up those bags. Oops. <laughs> that sounded worse than it was. Let me go and check. All is fine. No caps were damaged. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So when I, this was in the box, obviously I would have discovered it at some point. And on the back, it tells you about the Toft New Booties collection. And I thought, oh, that's quite nice. A friend of mine's had a baby recently. Maybe I could make a pair for little Pippa. And then I noticed Patterns written across a range of our yarns to cover all sizes from newborn to, wait for it, adult UK size 9. I have size 8 feet. Oh, look. I can't really see. There's a koala bear. Hedgehog monkey, what looks like a sheep, some other white one, another sheep, zebra, rhinoceros, <laughs> reindeer, oh my goodness, hmm, I'm going to have to, I've got to make a pair of these, Oh my goodness. Anyway, 
What was I saying? So yes, so basically I ordered more yarn so that I could finish the pattern testing hat in the colours that I wanted it to be in because I love the hat. Let's tip them out. Oh, these are gorgeous. So, the hat is in, I don't know where I put the hat now. The hat is around. So the hat is in red, purple, pink, and turquoise. Just, it's like, these colours bring me so much happiness. I love them. Um, they're only 25 gram balls, they're not very big. And the hat doesn't take very much yarn, but I did need some more anyway. They sell them in bundles of six. So I ended up getting what I needed and I had a couple of spaces left. So I thought I'd try a different color as well. So look, I've got this teal, isn't that nice? Um, I've also just downloaded a pattern. It's a paid for pattern by Sam Sabido from Adventures in Crafting with Sam. And she runs a fantastic Saturday morning workshop. And during lockdown, I did some of her uh, online workshops uh, because she couldn't run them in person. She transferred her Saturday morning workshops to Zoom, and which is a very good job because she lives quite some distance away from me. And I would never, ha never have come across her had it not been for the Zoom classes. And so I had a whale of a time doing quite a number of her Saturday morning classes. Then as life started to get back to normal, Saturday mornings became a bit trickier. Um, but I discovered that a, a recent Saturday morning project of hers was fingerless mittens. And I loved the pattern so much, I went on her website to download the PDF. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link down below because there was just something about them that really grabbed me. But it has to be, it's an Aran yarn. I didn't realize when I downloaded it that it's an Aran yarn. But I think that you can hold two DK together to create Aran. So I might give it a go. So that would be quite good if I could make myself a pair of matching um, fingerless mittens, wouldn't it? Anyway, I only came on here. I didn't come on here to chat today. It was just to show you all the gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. I love the red. I think this is a special, I don't know if you can get this one all the time. This one's called Ruby. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just out for Christmas. Did you know they do free patterns as well on Toft, uh, on the Toft website? Some of them are paid for, but some of them are free. And one that I came across as being free was a, a witch's hat, a crocheted, I think it's crocheted, crocheted witch's hat, completely free. Um, so it's not one of those places I think to look for for a free pattern so I think I might just have a look more often make a note to you know when I'm browsing to uh, to check it out and see if they've you know got anything interesting because I could have made one for the crochet sanctuary couldn't I with dressing up and everything for the Halloween one right must get on. Busy day today. Hello. It is... What day is it? It's Tuesday. Tuesday the 9th. 
I've been to the hairdressers this morning, bright and early. That was a, an early start to the day. I've got the dentist later, so it's one of those doing days. I've just been cleaning bedroom, uh, my bedroom, uh, tidying up up there. So just grabbing a coffee now. And then I've got some emails to reply to and orders to make up so I can go on a walk this afternoon or actually I might combine my trip to the dentist with posting those. I think that's what I'll do. Um, so that's it. It's glorious and sunny here this morning. Chilly but very nice and uh, bright and sunny which is lovely. Although of course it does highlight how dirty windows are dust you always see the dust don't you in the sun at this time of year when the sun shines through not to worry if you don't stay in one room long enough then you don't see the dust so that'll do me <laughs> right i've got my coffee oh it's a bit chilly today it is wednesday the 10th of november so I'm just trying to do some videoing this week, just little bits um, that I'm doing. Though it doesn't seem to be a terribly exciting week this week. I'm very tired today, didn't sleep too well last night. Uh, not quite sure why. I've had my piano lesson this morning, that went well. And I came home to some rather nice happy mail, so I thought I'd share um, some bits with you. Firstly, I had my 12 days of Christmas advent calendar, 12 days of Christmas calendar from the Yarn Whisperer. And that came in quite a big box. So I messaged him to let him know that it's arrived safely and said, I need to find somewhere that I can hide it so that I'm not tempted to peek. But at the same time, it's got to be somewhere that I don't forget where I've put it because I think we've all done that haven't we put things in a safe place and then completely forgotten where that is so I need to have a look I might see if I can fit it up on the top of my unit here I might do that and then write in big um, sharpie pen what it is I think that's maybe what I'll do but inside the box was because uh, I had to open it. So I've been very restrained, not peeking at all. But I had to open it because I knew that inside was something else rather special. Now, I've designed some exclusive stitch markers for him recently for the upcoming um, make-along that he's doing that starts on Boxing Day. So it's like a bas basket day. Oh, so it's like a Boxing Day cast on, except it's crochet. So I don't think you really cast on crochet, do you? What would be the technical term for that? Because you cast on with knitting, but I wonder what crochet is. It's just another day to start to whip. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So inside this box, was some yarn because I am going to be a pattern tester for the upcoming make along. Do you want to see the yarn? I'm sure you won't mind if I show you. So one of the skeins is undyed. All right. Now what you've got to remember is this project is called Mellow Mallow. It's the Mellow Mallow Mal. <laughs> Mellow Mallow. Mellow Mallow Make Along. So it's quite a mouthful, isn't it? So one of them is undyed. It's lovely. And the other one, look at this. Just look. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I just love this. This contrast here, this pink, 
against the burgundy. And I've just heard the garage door. That means that Mr. G could walk in at any minute. I knew that would happen. The minute I started recording, you'd walk in. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so yes, so that, just look at that yarn. That is absolutely scrummy and definitely has got the marshmallow vibes, hasn't it? So I'm very much looking forward and I'm not telling you what the other treats in there are. Russell, Russell, Russell. So that was just one of the parcels. The other parcel was from a lovely lady uh, called Andrea. And I followed her on Instagram and Facebook for many, many years. Uh, and she has an Etsy shop. She doesn't live a million miles from me. And she uh, makes the most wonderful handmade gifts and decorations. And over the years, I've bought several bits and pieces from her. And she's had a shop closed for a little while for personal um, reasons and has just recently reopened. And I was so pleased to see that she'd opened it because um, I always like to get a couple of new Christmas decorations from her. As we get nearer to Christmas, I'll show you and we get the decorations out, I'll show you. But I've, she's made these lovely felt um, reindeer. It's like a mummy reindeer. And then there's two baby ones. And so we have those out. I sit those on top of my piano. So they're one of my favourite decorations from her. So I thought I'd show you what I ordered from her. I ordered... Uh, I always call these pointy setiers. I know that's not quite the correct name for them, but they are pointy setiers as far as I'm concerned. I always kill them. They come with one of those guarantees and every year I kill them without fail. But when I saw that she had made, let me just bring it back to life because it's all been packaged. So let's look at that gorgeous brooch. So I thought I'd put that on my coat this winter. It's got a brooch back on, made out of felt. Isn't that gorgeous? So thank you. That was one of them. And then, <laughs> now I'm regretting already not buying more of these. I'll edit out the rustling. I knew I should have bought three. I don't know why I didn't. This is so cute. You're going to love this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, isn't he cute? All made by hand. All hand sewing there. So neat. So clever. It's got a nice sturdy base. So that will stand up. Uh, with, with my other decorations. With my... Um, He's got a furry beard. He's got a proper furry beard. You see. Isn't that cute? And I can't remember how much I paid for this actually. The, I think this is two pounds that I paid for that. I mean, that's an absolute bargain, isn't it? Gorgeous. Let me check. Yeah, two pounds. And she did some with a grey hat and a red body. I definitely, I should have got at least one more. Andrea, there may be another order coming your way. Then, I saw these hanging de decorations. Again, all made by hand, layered felt. Isn't that lovely? So we've got a reindeer bauble, a robin, and Christmas pudding. I think there are at least two other designs in the set as well. But yes, you have to draw the line somewhere, don't you? They're the three that I got. <laughs> and you don't even have to hang those on a tree. You could hang them just 
get a little sticky suction thing, couldn't you? Or on a door handle, you know, if you've got like a um, chest of drawers with knobs on, you could just hang it over the knob, couldn't you? That'd look quite nice. Snowflakes on. So I wanted. So, yeah, so I've got one of these that's vertical, but now I wanted a Merry Christmas that can hang this way. I'll put that up on a window. It's not got a fireplace, so um, isn't that nice? It's difficult to see. So do check out Andrea's shop. She has, I'll say, I'll put the link down below. She sells so many lovely gift ideas. Um, she does these uh, scented like lavender sachets, but they're in the shape of, they look like a pair of knickers. They've even got lace trim around the edge and everything. And she calls them her scented smalls. <laughs> I do love those. I bought some last, it was either last year or the year before, um, just sort of as a little extra gift for my sisters. But all of these bits that I've bought today, I think including postage, cost me about... Do you want me to check now? £23 with postage all these bits I think that was a bargain and I love that she recycles boxes as well and sometimes she makes her own uh, boxes so she's this is definitely my favorite I think you might have to live in here with me right pop those back in the box they came in right they're all there one more thing and again, I'll edit out all the rustling. So, I've managed to open the box. This is how it's arrived. That's Gemma's card. She does paper cutting. She also has a podcast on YouTube um, where she shares all the different crafts that she does and what she makes. Beautiful handmade watercolour card. Um, Amanda, and she's put on the back, Amanda, thank you so much for your order and continued support. Happy knitting, love, Gem. She also includes a little crocheted heart. Getting a bit of a collection of those. And what is this? Oh, look at that sparkly water tape. Pretty. It's that little attention to detail, isn't it? That um, it's always nice. It feels special, doesn't it, when you've ordered? And I think that's what you really you get that, don't you, when you order from small businesses? Now, when you see this, you might say. I thought you made those. I do, but not like this. So this is what I ordered from Gemma. This is a project bag for the Strictly Sock Along, which I started, I think I talked about it in my October vlogs, I did start a pair of socks and I did, was doing really, really well, but I've ended up having to frog them. If you don't know what the Strictly Sock Along is, then you need to find Ali on YouTube from Little Drops of Wonderful, I'll put her details below, and basically it's just all about knitting a pair of socks or crocheting a pair of socks during the season of Strictly Come Dancing, which is also known as Dancing with the Stars in other countries. And 
uh, it's just a fun fun thing to do and Gemma has kindly um, may is making a donation from the sale of all these hand stitched project bags uh, that she's made and she is donating uh, a percentage to the charity I believe it's Crohn's and Colitis uh, charity um, that money is being raised for this year through the Strictly Sock Along. But that's gorgeous. Like I say, this is all done by hand, not on a sewing machine. Oh yes, that is the perfect size, lovely padding, perfect size for a pair of socks. So yes, although I make my own project bags and I do sell them in my Etsy shop, I am very keen to support other small businesses and I think I saw a hashtag on um, social media recently uh, that was community over competition and I absolutely agree with that wholeheartedly you know I'm all about supporting each other not not trying to outdo each other so you know I've, I've helped out other small businesses before and I'm more than happy to continue helping them whether it's making purchases from their shops or whether it's giving them little sort of like um, business tips and advice um, obviously <laughs> when they've asked for it I don't just go out and start telling people what to do but I ha have had people contact me before and ask uh, for bits of advice and information and I'm always more than happy uh, to share um, share the knowledge really spread a bit of kindness I think that's what we need to do a little bit more anyway so on that note I need to get on I've got some badge making to do